Lord then sent us to the depths of the Sinai Desert, to a Greek Orthodox monastery where early Christians also sought protection. It's called St. Catherine's, and it's located at the foot of Mount Sinai, where according to tradition, Moses received the Ten Commandments. It's the oldest functioning monastery anywhere. There are 25 monks here today, servicing the smallest diocese in the world. The monks are all Greek, with one exception. Altogether, we have 3,300 manuscripts. The chief librarian, overseeing an incomparable collection of ancient manuscripts, is Father Justin. But most of these date from the 10th to the 14th century. A converted Baptist from El Paso, Texas. He showed us the monastery's collection of Byzantine icons, the largest and oldest collection in the world. Then he took us to what the Patriarch really wanted us to see, a little-known letter written by the Prophet Muhammad almost 1,400 years ago, signed and sealed with his handprint, offering protection and religious freedom to the Christians of the monastery. These are precedents from Muhammad himself for toleration and peace among people of different faiths. then brought us back to the 21st century, then Turkey, to his own backyard. He took us for a ride on an island off of Istanbul, in a carriage, with a police escort. The patriarch wanted to show us that Muhammad's message of tolerance has not been received by the Turkish authorities. His prime example, the Halki School of Theology, the only Greek Orthodox seminary in Turkey, empty and abandoned. No priests, no prayers. This letter provides credence and comfort that Prophet Muhammad truly celebrated his Christian friends. The original letter is now in the Top Copy Museum in Istanbul.